Hey Mustangs, welcome to this Wednesday edition of the Daily Update. I'm Kevin Reynolds. Let's get to the news. Jury deliberations continue in the ongoing Rittenhouse trial. That story tops today's Mustang Minute. The Rittenhouse jury asks about reviewing video evidence in the case. While the jurors did not specify which videos they wanted to view, attorneys agree they needed to be viewed in court. Wednesday marks the second day of jury deliberations on five felony charges against Kyle Rittenhouse. The teenager allegedly killed two people and shot another during the Kenosha protests this August. It's day two of the trial of a suspected serial killer in North Texas. Juries, uh, jurors in the trial of Billy Shamirmir were shown evidence trying Billy Shamirmir to one of the victims. Images of the body of Luthi Harris were shown from when the detectives found her in her home. Family members of the other 17 victims of Shamirmir is suspected of killing, listening intently to the evidence, presented to the second day of the trial. One piece of evidence shown to the jury was a key that was found inside Shamirmir's car. A detective testified that the key opened the victim's front door. One man is dead after he was shot outside a Costco score less than five miles from SMU's campus. The shooting happened near the shops of Park Lane and Greenville Tuesday night. Dallas police believe it was a robbery gone wrong. As the victim was loading items into the car, four people approached him. Police have one suspect in custody, but three others are still at large. 41 months. That's how long one man will spend behind bars for his involvement in the U.S. Capitol riot. Jacob Chansley, also known as the QAnon shaman, was seen in numerous photos wearing face paint and a headdress inside the Senate chamber. The Justice Department had pushed for a harsh sentence to set an example for other rioters. Chansley was admitted he was wrong to enter the Capitol on July 6, January 6th, but denies being an insurrectionist or a domestic terrorist. A significant storm could be on its way to the East Coast this Thanksgiving. The storm is expected to develop on Sunday in the Midwest and strengthen daily. If the storm grows, it could reach the East Coast by Tuesday. This means there may be disruptions at major airports like in Chicago and New York starting early the week of Thanksgiving, which is the busiest time to travel. If you're traveling home for the East Coast for holiday break, you'll want to call ahead to make sure the flight is on time. And that's your Mustang Minute. On the team specifically, I love all the girls. Like we have an amazing culture and uh, all the teammates are like my family. So getting to share the experience with them is really special. The uh, best part about being a soccer team at SMU is the people you meet. We all have like strive for academic excellence as well. So it's fun to take classes and do everything with it. Thank you for your support and we'd love to see you in the stands next season. <laughs> for more information, visit the women's soccer page on Facebook. Hey Mustangs, I'm Kevin Reynolds here with your five day forecast. It's a warm and sunny Wednesday. Wednesday brings a high in the lower 80s and a low in the upper 40s on Thursday. And on Friday, we'll see lows in the 60s and highs in the upper 30s to mid 40s. Saturday, it will be back again and up into the, Saturday brings highs in the mid 70s and lows in the upper 50s. Finally, on Sunday, we'll see some cloudy skies, highs in the mid 70s and lows in the mid 40s. That's your five-day weather forecast. For SMU TV, I'm Kevin Reynolds. I was going through the fence, and it's a lot of fun. Honestly, I think it's like meeting new people and like making new relationships that like really change your experience and your perspective on life. Just the friendships and the Getting to hang out with out, um, other people and getting to go out and socialize. SMU Best Buddies creates lifelong friendships between an SMU student and a student or community member with intellectual or developmental disabilities. The volunteers and their buddies meet on their own time and attend monthly group events. The monthly group events are fun activities such as bowling, SMU Best Buddies is more than just a club and provides students with the opportunity to make a difference. For more information, go to connect.smu.edu.
Dorm life isn't always as bad as it seems, especially with SMU TV's new residential commons. We will now take a look as Ashlyn Winget is in a new building on campus. A new building showed up on SMU campus, leaving students wondering what is housed there. This new residential commons is called Daniel House. Daniel's definitely unique because everyone gets their own bedroom, bathroom, and walk-in closet, and then they get share a kitchen and a living room. So it's just state-of-the-art. It's really nice. All the residents obviously love it. Community seems to be a huge aspect of those living in Daniel House. We get to go outside and it's just us and the Danny residents and we hang out or we have s'mores and stuff like that. So it's definitely my favorite part, yeah. A portion of that love for community comes with events they host. When we actually, like, when we're able to get together and have events and stuff like that, um, that's why I think, like, the community blooms a lot, which is amazing. A major attraction to Daniel House are the amenities within the living quarters. I really like having a full-size kitchen. I can make my own meals now and I don't have to worry about eating the dining hall food. So it's nice having my own space in Daniel. Additionally, there are amenities outside of the living quarters. Third floor lounge, you get a good, nice whiteboard and there's TVs in the study rooms. And then on the second floor lounge, there's a community kitchen and we just got Dance Dance Revolution. For those upperclassmen looking for a place to live next year, Daniel House seems like one of the best options. For SMU TV, I'm Ashlyn Winget. For more information on how you could apply to move into Daniel House next school year, go to www.housingportal.smu.edu. Well, that's all we have for you today, Mustangs. Remember, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash SMU television and follow us on Twitter at SMU TV. If you have any story ideas, shoot us an email at smutv at smu.edu. Thanks for watching this Wednesday edition of the Daily Update. Tune in on Thursday for more news from the Hilltop. Until then, have a great day. SMU-TV and the Division of Journalism want to thank our underwriters, North Park Center in Dallas, Javier's Gourmet Mexicano on Cole Avenue, and Advance ER off West Lovers Lane. We appreciate your support of student media.